Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You know that I have an affinity for micros. And I build them and I buy them and I fly them and I review them. And one of the challenges is always fitting everything in these little guys. We don't have a lot of space. And I, especially on the Taros, get a lot of questions about how to connect this. I'm using an RX 616 XN. That thing has been out of stock for a long time. Um, to connect to one of these Taros, you need either uh, PPM or I believe it also does S bus. I'm I'm using PPM on it. You can see my coil of wires down there in, in there. Well, there's a perfectly good solution for this, and we've got Futaba, we've got DSM, and we've got FR Sky, and I think there might even be Fly Sky one out there, but I couldn't find it tonight here as I got prepared to do the uh, video. But iRange X makes a whole host of micro receivers. And many of them come with uh, dual antennas, which is good for purposes of maintaining your control. And it comes also with a host of connectors for different scenarios. It supports SBUS and um, PPM or CPPM. And it comes with a bind button right here, but they're quite small. And this would be a perfect solution for putting inside something like the Tarot or the others that I just showed you. Let's take a closer look at its weight says on the website that it's about three grams so let's see how true that is of course we're not going to weigh the cable you can always chop the cable down oh that didn't stick chopping the cable down will um, oftentimes help us with squeezing everything in you can stay together antenna so 2.9 or three grams so they're spot on there what about the uh, sizing Let's get some true measurements of that size. Got low battery on my calipers here, so bear with me. I need to get another battery. So at, at its thickest, which is of course up here at the port, I'd say we're coming in right at about, oh, five, five and a quarter, maybe 5.8. And our length, if we don't include the plastic part down there, the heat shrink that extends past, we try to just measure the actual piece. We've got 30.7, and then our width, we've got 13.2, and our depth, let's go up here where the UFL connector is, that's the thickest part, 4.7. So 3 grams, and pretty slim and small, you could squeeze that in any one of the quads I just showed you. Pretty good solution there, and I think right now... The, the one I have here in my hand, the FX801, is on sale, and I think it's $18.99. The um, FR Sky version, which is $16.99, and I think the cheapest micro receiver you can get for Tyrannus use, or FR Sky Protocol, is close to $30, bucks, somewhere between $26 and $29. So, if you're worried about your budget, I would take a look at these. Look for a future build that I include one of these iRange X receivers in. I've got a couple on the way. Uh, I'm going to plan on using the FR Sky version, which they have one that I just located between cuts. And it's only $13.99. Single antenna, but $13.99. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, let me know in the section down below. I'll leave the links for the various different versions of the iRange X receivers uh, down below as well. Okay, thanks for watching.